Go. Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening, East Frankfurt Baptist Church, when everyone decided to watch this. Uh, thank you for joining us for day 22 of our uh, 40 days of prayer. Uh, today's devotion uh, comes from uh, Matthew 28, verses 16 through 20. It says, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in heaven. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Amen. Uh, today's devotion comes from Steve Rice. He is the church consultant and revitalization team uh, leader for the Kentucky Baptist Convention. Uh, and I'm reading directly from his words uh, as follows. It says, uh, the Great Commission uh, is still in effect. Although he had been teaching and modeling the Great Commission principles for the last three and a half years to the disciples, it was so paramount to Jesus that he gave them a final post-resurrection reminder. Uh, these three post-resurrection Great Commission reminders are, uh, number one, he reminded them about his power. Jesus had already taught and demonstrated his power to the disciples. They were there when he gave sight to the blind. They watched the infected skin of the lepers become perfect and unblemished. They heard him yell, Lazarus, come forward. They were looking at him at that moment, after he had just come back from the dead. Yet he still reminded them about his power. He said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Why? Jesus knew there would be times in the future when the disciples would need every possible reminder of his power. Uh, reminder number two, he reminded them about his priority. In this reminder, we find the keys to unlock church growth and revitalization. He told them to go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. In other words, Jesus reminded them that his priority was for them to focus on evangelism and discipleship. Uh, number three, he reminded them about his presence. He said, I am with you always, even into the end of the world. They spent the last three and a half years with Jesus, but now he was going away. Jesus knew that they needed to be reminded about his continuing presence through the Holy Spirit. What a glorious reminder with which to close this gospel account. God with us. You know, when I, what, when I read this, I, I think of, uh, I think of a, a pastor I was listening to who was talking about uh, on his way to uh, preach about a, a sermon about preaching the gospel to himself. He actually had to preach the gospel to himself on his way to that sermon. Um, so I think that the key here, the key word we take out of this is a uh, reminder. Um, we, we are... Uh, forgetful people uh, and we see the disciples were forgetful people as well uh, so we need to constantly be reminded that the great commission is still our mission we need to constantly remind ourselves that and that's why we're doing these 40 days of prayer so return to this verse often memorize it because uh, it's definitely important thank you for joining us